quite deep core. Uh, it's indicating a certain evolution on the rim as it's appearing rather brick ruby, but the, the core is still very dense ruby. It starts out a bit shy on the nose. But there's still layers there, there's still a hint of complexity. I get uh, notes of mocha, coffee, sweet plum, sweet berries, some vanilla. Palace is quite, quite full, quite dense, still with a good good dose of, of tannin that has just started to to round off a little bit grainy with uh, the wine is dry but uh, I would call the fruit rather sweet like vanilla infused sweet sweet plum with some uh, red berry notes oak is finely integrated but there's it's still slightly noticeable in the background some tobacco as well, so there's a good deal of complexity here. Needs some air, needs some time to, to open up. And it certainly is showing a good, good length, good persistence with a complex spiciness on the finish. So wine with a good drinkability now, I would still say it should deserve a certain decanting before before drinking it and um, this is of course a style of wine that would benefit from a uh, a nice elegant dish like um, you know creamy risotto with, with with truffle or just a nice juicy tender piece of of steak because it has that grippy firm tannic core still that always loves juicy big steaks just like I do